Kim and Ashley are best friends. They decided to spend summer vacation in Italy together. They were very lucky to buy cheap plane tickets. Their flight was at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, when the girls arrived at the airport, they realized it was the wrong one. Now they have two options. Take a high-speed train for 100 bucks to go to the right airport, or stay here and buy tickets for a later flight for $400. What should they choose? The second option. Look at the clock on the wall. It's 9.55 a.m. The boarding for their flight is already over. They won't make it even if they take the high-speed train. Kim and Ashley bought new tickets. They went to the airport restaurant to drink coffee. But one weird detail scared Kim away. She suggested they should leave that place as soon as possible. What did Kim see? This woman over there is a zombie. Wow, how did she get through security? When it was finally time to board the plane, it turned out there were no more economy class seats left. Kim and Ashley were offered to fly in business class. There, the girls saw three people. When the flight attendant served them fresh juice, she whispered that Kim and Ashley were extremely lucky. They were about to travel next to a famous Italian billionaire. Can you guess which of these passengers is the billionaire? This glamorous lady is a good candidate, but it's very unlikely a billionaire will wear a 100% polyester coat. This guy's business suit is very elegant, but look at his shoes. They seem quite cheap and worn out. This funny gentleman must be the real billionaire. Although his outfit is rather casual, his gold watch looks very expensive. The glamorous lady began to chat with Kim and Ashley. She told them she had recently visited an exotic island with her friends. Then she showed the girls some pictures. When the lady went to the bathroom, Ashley whispered to Kim, This woman is a liar. She photoshopped his picture. How did Ashley know that? It's all about the shadows. They all look natural, except for this one. The glamorous lady took a sip of her juice and started coughing. Suddenly, she fainted and fell into the billionaire's arms. He was ready to shout for help, but Kim stopped him, saying the woman was faking it. How did she know that? Look at the content of her bag. It's full of the billionaire's pictures and magazine articles. She also has a tattoo with his portrait on her leg. This woman is obsessed with him. It was lunchtime, and the billionaire offered Kim to play a game. There were three boxes. One of them contained a meal. There was a statement on each box, but only one of them was true. Can you help Kim figure out which box has food inside? If the food is in the first box, there are two true statements. And if the food is in the third box, there are also two true statements. But we need just one true statement. That's why the food can only be in the second box. Kim opened the box. She saw a delicious meal and a bank card. The billionaire said, congratulations, you've won $5 million. Enjoy your trip. Kim and Ashley landed in Rome and went to get their luggage. It turned out that Ashley had had the same suitcase as two other passengers, and they had a little quarrel. Can you help distribute the three suitcases among these people? The first suitcase belongs to this woman. It's covered in her dog's hair. The second suitcase has some traces of a star sticker. You've probably noticed it before on Ashley's bag. And the third suitcase belongs to this man. Since Kim and Ashley were now very rich, they decided to find a real estate agent who could help them rent a luxurious villa. Wow. They wanted to spend their vacation there. The agent showed them three houses. Can you help the girls choose the best one? There are cockroaches in the first house. Mm, they won't make very pleasant neighbors. The second house is too old. There's a crack in the wall, which doesn't look safe. And the third house looks pretty good. As for the pool, it can be easily cleaned. Yes! Kim and Ashley left the villa and went sightseeing. When they returned, they found out that someone had stolen their passports from the safe. The girls called the police, and they interrogated three suspects. 
The chef was too busy making dinner for Kim and Ashley. The cleaner was dealing with the pool all day, and the gardener said he had been outside planting flowers. He didn't notice anything suspicious. Who's lying? The gardener. If he planted the flowers, where are they? The police returned Kim and Ashley their passports and arrested the gardener. The next day, the girls went shopping. Sellers wanted to take advantage of rich and naive tourists and offered them overpriced souvenirs. Only one of these three items is a good deal. Oh. Can you guess which one? Take a look at this Venetian mask. It says made in China, which means that this mask can't be real. This magnet is of very low quality. The word Italy is spelled with an error. It simply can't cost $100. This blue cheese doesn't look fresh, but it's normal for this kind of product. This delicacy is the only thing that Kim and Ashley can buy here for a fair price. The ladies went to the local museum and got lost in its corridors. They found a strange basement with three doors. There was a time portal to the Middle Ages behind the first door. Behind the second door, there was an evil mummy. It cursed anyone who bothered it. Oh. Finally, the third door was protected with a laser alarm system. It cut through anything that touched the laser beams. Which door should the girls choose? The second one. The mummy is sleeping peacefully inside its sarcophagus. If Kim and Ashley are quiet and don't come close, they can just walk by it. When the girls got outside, they saw a crowd of reporters around the museum. Someone has stolen the most expensive painting. The police questioned three suspects. Giovanni, the cleaner, said he had been washing the bathroom when the theft happened. Hmm. Luca, the museum guide, saw a suspicious woman with a large folder not far from the crime scene. And Bianca, the suspicious woman, was just drawing sketches as part of her art school homework. Who's lying? Luca. He has a rolled canvas under his shirt. Kim and Ashley came to a restaurant to enjoy the local cuisine. But they noticed a vampire among the visitors. So the girls decided to leave. Which visitor is the vampire? This elderly lady is wearing sunglasses in the evening. Also, she doesn't have a shadow. <laughs> then Kim and Ashley took a boat trip. A local photographer took their picture and printed it on two similar t-shirts. Then he offered the girls to buy these souvenirs. But Kim noticed three differences between these pictures. Can you see them too? Here they are. The ladies came to a bakery. Kim ordered a salad and coffee, while Ashley wanted to eat something sweet. The barista offered her three remaining options. Help Ashley make the right choice. Someone has already tasted this cupcake. Ants live inside this donut. It's probably not very fresh. But this croissant is safe. The green color is pistachio glaze, not mold. In the evening, Kim and Ashley arrived at the villa. The owner was there, and he was furious. He hadn't received any rental payment because Kim and Ashley's card presented by the billionaire was blocked. Suddenly, they heard breaking news on TV. Some scammers had robbed the billionaire. All his accounts were empty. Three people commented on the situation. The billionaire's driver said his boss had many enemies. The billionaire's girlfriend complained that now she couldn't even afford a new haircut. And his PA said they would try to return the money soon. Ashley knew for sure that one of them was hiding something. But who? The girlfriend. If she had no money, how come she left the boutique with so many purchases? The owner of the villa offered Kim and Ashley a deal. If you manage to prepare my favorite cocktail, I'll forget about your debt. The girls had no choice, so they agreed. The man gave them the recipe, but the last ingredient was coated. Can you guess what ingredient it is? If you mix blue and yellow, you'll get green. 
so the ingredient must be green grapes. Next morning, Kim and Ashley woke up locked in a room with two doors as the only exit. If they chose the wrong door, they would stay in the room forever. And if they picked the correct door, they would end up with loads of jewelry, money, and designer clothing that would be enough for the rest of their lives. Wow. Two guards were standing in front of them. One guard always lied, while the other always told the truth. Kim and Ashley didn't know their identities. The girls could only ask one question. What should they ask? The question should be, if I asked the other guard which door leads to the treasures, what would he say? If they asked the guard who always tells the truth, he would say that the other guard would point to the wrong door. And if they asked the liar, he would point to the wrong door too. In either case, both guards would point to the wrong door. So Kim and Ashley should just choose the other door. <laughs>